Hey, welcome back. And uh, this morning, I have something new for you. Um, I was reached out by the people at Etch, and they, I guess they make uh, these stone papers. And they asked if I would be interested in trying out um, what are these products that they're doing. And uh, generally, I would decline these kind of offers because I really don't like doing reviews. But in this case, it was actually um, something I, I can actually use because it is paper. And it says here it's 80% limestone and 20% recycled resin. So that is very strange to me. I've never, I don't think I've ever drawn on these kind of, um, these kind of paper before. And it's really cool. And let me, let me show it to you. And they were very nice to actually put in, uh, I guess my name there all the way. And this is the etched stone paper. So this is about six by eight. But the cool thing about this um, comes with the pen which is just a regular pen, I think, with their logo. The cool thing about this... So I tried sketching on this um, with the pen that they gave me. And this paper is really weird. You can feel this. Well, obviously you can't, but this is like really smooth. It almost feels like leather. Um, and supposedly, I'm not... I've never done this here, but... It cannot be ripped, so let me... You know, should I do it now or should I do it later? Right, let me rip this part here. Actually, that's rip, but it's really hard. You can almost see it's almost like a plastic. Yeah, so that's really odd. So I love the uh, the texture of this, and let me try to draw something. I guess you can rip it if you have a have an open edge, but if you're just trying to rip it, yeah, it's kind of it's pretty cool. All right, that's interesting. Alright, so luckily it's just one page, and let me try drawing something real quick. And this, these are the crappy sketches that, that I did earlier um, when I was just waiting around. And again, it's things that I've always drawn, and I hate doing this in a way because it's like your mind always, you know, goes back to the default of, of the way, um, you know, all the things that you like to draw uh, from the past. And it just, it comes out to be pretty crappy, but let's not talk about that for now. Uh, let me try to draw something right here. Alright, so let's draw something here. I'm just going to use the pen that they gave me. And I'll draw something with a pencil later. Because um, I'm very curious as to how you know pencil goes on with this kind of texture. Um, let's see, let's just... Alright, since I'm just using a pen, I'm just going to sketch real quick. I know I haven't really done any um, serious pen drawings and generally it's because you know the pens that I, I have I mean they're just regular pens and then they tend to leave these little gunks everywhere um, so I don't know I've never really been too interested in it I guess it's okay you know you can't erase so I don't know if that's a good thing, because I generally make a lot of errors, <laughs> especially on the likeness, but let's just, hopefully I've gotten better, hopefully. Alright, so I'm just, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you, I'm just almost treating this as like a pencil. And of course with a pen, you can't, there's no smudging or anything like that, so it's all basically just line work, cross hatching. Actually, never drawn Einstein. Okay, so it's definitely got a sound to it. I was almost like drawing on plastic here. Yeah, actually this pen is actually okay. Doesn't really gunk up too much. You know, pen drawing is okay. Um, you know, if you're outside and things like that, having a pen is kind of nicer sometimes because it's a little bit uh, cleaner, you know, um, with pencil, you know, you can't really put it in your pocket because it just get all messy. So I guess, you know, sometimes I would 
use a pen just out of convenience I mean if you are to sketch outside which is I don't do that a lot all right I think that's enough for this um, yeah I mean I think this this works pretty well with a pen it's very smooth now let's try it with I should rip this too yeah such nice paper all right so let's try it with um, what I normally do let's try it with my let's try a 2b pencil first I want to see how this and I'll sketch a little bit quicker let's try it because I really yeah it actually feels pretty good yeah it goes on really dark actually I mean it's very smooth this is weird Wow okay I'm not trying to plug these uh these products or anything I mean it's just they sent it to me for free and I'm not other than the free product I'm not getting anything else and which I don't want anything else just something you know normally I would decline these offers um but since it's this is something that I might consider using so that's why I did say yes to them so they sent they were nice enough to send it to me for free of course and there was no obligation I didn't have to do this but I figured it might be kind of interesting to do use uh, I guess a new product yeah so it's very smooth um, there's no scratchiness to it in terms of um, you know the regular drawing paper, paper that I've used you know it's, it's texture so you get that scratchiness it almost feels like I'm gliding which is kind of cool it's very slippery <laughs> it's like it's like drawing on ice or something I don't know how well these this race. Let me try erasing some of this. Okay, it actually comes out pretty well. See, I'm just wondering if I keep erasing. Yeah, because it's so smooth. Yeah, the paper doesn't degrade much, which is kind of interesting. I'm a little bit rusty here. dark right here dark and then there's a slight lighter right here I didn't make too dark but okay let's just keep going yeah this is actually kind of cool guys I don't know what to say I'm very surprised I think I wasn't expecting this Eyes are gonna be off again, of course. This one slants down and always tend to go up here. Gotta yeah, figure out a way to break that habit. I think it's just the way I'm situated, because my head is not over it, so I'm seeing things at an angle. Draw his awesome mustache. Come down here. So I can just sketch in these lines. So they'll highlight right here. That's gonna be dark. Mustache is wider right here. 
And this thing is in, obviously this picture is in black and white, so um, it makes it a lot easier, you know, because all the values has been solved already. You know, you don't have to translate color to black and white. So if you want to make it easier for yourself, actually drawing from black and white is a very good idea. It's like um, if you draw from other people's drawing, it's a little bit, it's a lot easier um, because you're just copying and drawing and they've kind of solved all the problems for you already. So they're presenting you the, the final, uh, you know, the solution that they've come up with. So when you copy that, it's actually a lot easier than drawing from real life. Okay, this is very interesting. I didn't expect this. I'm shading this, so I'm pretty light on it. And it's really smooth. This is nuts. This is weird. This is almost like drawing on a computer or something in terms of the value, the smoothness that you get here. I don't know how much these papers are. I guess I should <laughs> check on it online. I didn't really do much research on this. Because right now my... Um, so what happens is my, my pencil becomes a little bit duller here. So you can see that it's a little bit flatter, the lines. And it just goes on really smooth. Yeah, see this right here? That's cool. Lots of wrinkles here. Yeah, he's got a lot of really cool features here. Maybe I should draw draw him make another drawing of him in, in the future. There's a lot of, I mean, obviously this is an older, when he was a lot older. So these wrinkles and, and you know, the, the bags underneath the eyes and all these little aged skin. It's actually really cool to draw. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. Yeah, this, this smoothness right here is really cool. Let me, let me, okay, let me stop on that. Let me try... Let's try a 6B. Let's see how a 6B would go. Maybe we can draw. That's strange. Almost cut into it. Yeah, really smooth, guys. Let's draw some of the hair with the 6B. Well, the hair is so light, so maybe that's not a good idea. But I'll go really light on my hand, see what happens. I'll come in here, go over this. So usually if you go over the area too much, it gets all muddied up. And the on the regular paper, you know, you lose the, you lose the texture. So let's see what happens if I shade this really hard. over again actually yeah the paper is kind of breaking apart actually um, 
there's a little bit of chunks going on here it's kind of tearing a little bit because the 2b is i mean the the hp right here is a lot sharper so it's cutting into it so i guess if you push in really hard this stuff will break i mean it's kind of like regular paper if you push in as hard as this on a regular paper yeah you'll lose the tooth on the two but this feels a little bit different How's that? I know it's a mess, guys. Just really testing out this paper and just doing a quick sketch. Yeah, let's push it a little bit more than since I have a 6B. Yeah, the, uh, the texture of the paper really grips it's like I glide over it, it's very smooth and I, I think it actually comes out a little bit darker than on just regular paper which might or might not be a good thing let's get back to the HP I actually like the number 2 on this paper better because even with this number two, you can get pretty dark on this. Not much of an Einstein here. Okay, so how's that? <laughs> yeah, kind of looks like a little baby right here. All right, so I don't know, for Einstein here, but I'll just call this a quick sketch. Hopefully you'll forgive all the errors. And, but the paper is cool. I really like this and I'll definitely be using it in the future since they sent me this whole booklet. Um, I'll make more of my other drawings a little bit more detailed um, with this see how that goes all right so uh, that is it for this little drawing and yeah I'll, I'll do more of this in the future um, try to fill up this little sketch pad here but yeah thanks guys for sending me this this is really cool this is definitely a new experience for me because this feels very strange and different uh, very cool in a way just kind of glides over so all right so uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time